Now it's time for an activity. Hello and welcome to the second part of Baby Massage with me today. So, we've already done front, chest, legs and feet, as well as the tummy. So, what we're now going to move on to is arms, hands, back and head and face. So, hopefully you've still got your oil with you. So, let's pop some more oil on us, warm it up. And we're going to put our hands on the baby's shoulder pads and say, we're just going to carry on with the massage. Let's go, baby. And we're going to start with nice and straight. So that's just bringing our hands down the side of that body and their arms, just to show their arms length. And this is their body. Perfect. So we're then going to move on to arms length. So for this one, make those nice C shapes again. I'm going to do both arms at the same time. You can do one at a time if you like. So I'm going to just do a little squeeze as I go down the arms from the shoulder to the wrist. Don't squeeze on the elbow. Next move we're going to move on to is called gentle squeezes. To make a nice ring shape around the arm. And just give a little squeeze as we go down. After this, it's over and across. So for this, we pop baby's arms out in a T-shape and we pop one arm over the chest space and roll them that side. And again, we roll them back again. We do the same with the other side. Roll them to that side and back again. Um, we'll do that a few more times. You may find that baby has one side they prefer to roll on than another. This is quite normal. It's just that they have one side they prefer to roll on. And as I said, this is gonna be very helpful in aiding with their rolling and when they start moving around a bit more. So the next one we're gonna do after this is give yourself a cuddle. This one I quite like. So we're gonna open the arms out in the T-shape, close them over the chest and open them again and close them again. Beautiful. So now we're gonna move on to the hands. So with those hands, we're gonna go into the palm of the hand, you're gonna do nice round circles. And we're gonna do the same on the backs of the hands, so that nice circular motion with our fingers. Now we're gonna do tiny wrists, so that's just nice circular motion around the wrist joints. This is very helpful with the cir circulation and it stimulates the joints. We're now gonna do tiny fingers, so we're gonna stretch each one of these fingers. So we'll start with the thumb, the forefinger, the middle finger, the ring finger, and the pinky. Let's do the same with the other hand. So we're gonna stretch the thumb, the forefinger, the middle finger, the ring finger, and the pinky. And last but not least for our hand massage, we're gonna do that nice palm stroke. So that's just placing our hand from the base of the hand and lifting our hand upward. It's almost like we're giving them a high five and saying thank you for letting me massage your hands. Do the same with the other hand a couple of times. Just brush your hand up in an upward motion. That's it. Perfect. Amazing. So we're now going to move on to the back massage. So we'll turn baby onto their tummy. Time for tummy time. So we're going to pop some more oil on our hands if we need to. Place our hands on those shoulder pads and bring our hands down that back. So this move is called the Velvet Cloak. So this one is just letting baby know the back massage has begun. And it's stretching out that back. Do this a few times. Excellent. So now we're going to move on to the Fulcrum Run. This will make a nice V shape with your two front first fingers. And we're just gonna follow that spinal cord from the base of the neck all the way down on either side. This is very helpful for their nerve development. Perfect. And now we're going to do what's move, a move that's called sweeping the back. So this one is bringing both hands all the way down. You can go down to the backs of the legs as well if you want. It's perfectly fine. Excellent. So this is again, stretching out the back. So now we're gonna do a move that's gonna help with any babies that might have colic or wind. So at the base of the back in the sacral area, you're gonna just place your hand there 
and do nice circular motion. Make sure, remember like the stomach, it's in a clockwise motion because the digestive system works in that clockwise motion if you remember from the previous video that I've made. So let's do that nice clockwise circular motion. Brilliant. Now we're going to move on to kneading the dough. So we're going to pop one of both of our thumb, one of thumb on each of the bum cheek and we're just going to do a little rotation motion, little motion round and round. So this is just helping with the circulation in the buttocks. Excellent. Now we're going to do pat a cake. Pat that bottom. Pat, pat, pat. That's it. Now we're going to do pitter patter raindrops. So for this one, we're going to start with the top of the, of the back of the neck. We're going to go all the way down. You can go down to the backs of the legs as well and back up again if you like. Perfect. The last move we're going to do for this back massage is the feathering of the back. So very, very, very softly, as softly as you possibly can, I'd like you to run your fingers along your baby's back. That's it, perfect. This is extremely good for the nerve development. And last but not least, we're gonna go into the velvet cloak again, just to finish off that back massage. Well done. Now we're gonna turn baby back over and we're going to work on head and face. So for this, you're just going to need a little bit of oil on your fingertips. Perfect. So we're first going to start with shampooing the scalp. Just bring my baby in a bit better so you can see them in the video. So we're going to do shampooing that scalp. So it's a nice circular motion on the top of the head, like when you wash baby's head. Very good. Now we're going to do a move that's called open look. So for this one, we're going to need to put our thumb in the middle of the baby's forehead, just above their eyebrows, starting of their eyebrows, and we place our fingers just to their temples. So just pop your thumb to the walls of the temple and bring it back to the middle again. So we do that a couple of times, it's known as open book. The next move we're going to do is temple bell. So with your fingers, just do a nice circular motion of those temples. Now some babies don't like their face being massaged, that's fine, but it was always good to do some of these. Just get them used to you touching their face if you're not usually doing this. The next move is called waterfall. Now this is extremely useful for um, draining out any mucus from baby's nose because of course babies can't blow their nose unlike us. So what we're going to do is we're going to pop our fingers just on the bridge of the nose, that's the very top of the nose, and bring our fingers all the way down to the nostrils. That's it. So what this should do is help you to be able to catch anything that might be coming out. So we'll just do that a couple of times. I can show you on my face too, so it's really no fingers down. So you get that chance to catch anything that may be coming out. Perfect. We're now going to move on to the gum soother. So this one is just rubbing your thumb along that top gum line. Just follow that top gum line. Excellent. The next move we're going to do is called the jaw relaxer. Now, baby's jaws are not as fully developed as ours that are right up at the back near our earlobes. So what I want you to do is feel about three quarters of the way into baby's cheek. You should feel a hinge. That is the baby's jaw. There, I want you to do that nice circular motion, which is known as jaw relaxer. That's brilliant. Next move we're going to do is called the Victorian moustache. So for this one, we're going to follow that top lip, we're gonna go along the gum line, and then we're gonna to touch baby's earlobe. So we're gonna to go top lip, follow gum line, earlobe. Top lip, follow gum line, earlobe. Now I repeat this only so that it gets stuck in our head, because I know what it's like sometimes. We forget as soon as we put the phone down or as soon as we walk away. So, and you can always watch this as many times as you like. So the next one is a smile. So this one is from the base of the middle and the bottom of the lip. We're gonna then just lift our thumbs in an upward motion. So it's always helping baby to smile. So in an upward motion from the middle of the mouth all the way up the sides of the lips, all the way up. So I'll show you on me. So it will be from there and you're just lifting it up. Perfect. And then we're gonna do our loving cradle. We're gonna go into a full frontal stretch and 
then that is our massage completed. Thank you once again for listening and I hope I didn't go too fast for you. Feel free to ask any questions you may have and I will answer them if I can. I hope you enjoyed my video and bye!